What's up YouTube now? Some of you may have known that we were in Malvern over the last weekend. I was actually there with Bubblegum9325. You may have seen his video that he put on his channel of some of the things that he got during that weekend. Uh, I'm going to put a video up now of showing you what one of the things that I got from the event was and that is this 1895 dated Boar War shrapnel shell. Now it's actually in really good condition. As you can see from the rifling it has been fired and the rifling is in really good condition. It's really nice rifling and you can also see the really nice in good condition machine marks from when it was actually manufactured and you can also see the rivets holding in the fuse adapter and this obviously has two fuse adapters it's got the steel dome fuse adapter and the brass adapter for the fuse the fuse does unscrew so I will just unscrew it now you've already seen a bell fuse in my previous videos so I'm not really going to go into too much detail on the fuse so I will link the video on the fuse in the bottom in the description of the video so I'm not going to go into the fuse, I'm just going to go into the actual shell uh, obviously the threads in the adapter are really good condition now you can notice the shiny bit between the steel and the adapter that is actually a line of solder you can see it more clearly here that means that the adapter for the brass has been soldered into the steel so it, it doesn't come out and obviously the steel adapter you can sort of see the line of solder around there just above my thumb and obviously that's pinned in so it doesn't come apart on the bottom it is marked 15 pounder mark 1 hence the I makers mark of F S and then there's the British artillery mark R L you can also see the machine marks here and there's a small hole there, a large hole and another small hole that's a bit harder to make out but that's obviously from the lathe marks so it would have been bolted into the machine to be able to make it to spun to be able to put the machine mines in it now on the actual side of the shell I could just put it this way you can see the letters A and a circle indented in the side there and moving around you can see the date 17th of the 10th 1895 so that is Thursday the 17th of October 1895 and there's the October 1895 again and the Royal Artillery bird footmark it's also been stamped again of 9 1898 which suggests the shell may have been reused and it also has another maker's mark of C that C could actually be the person that filled the shell with shrapnel. Now if I just look for a quick torch, you, I may just be able to show you inside the shell that it is completely empty. You can see the tin cup which is clearly sitting in the bottom and there is the groove for the pusher plate out there. That is pretty difficult to see but you can see the groove for the pusher plate in there. So the shell is completely empty and it's remarkably clean inside so this must literally have been picked up as soon as it had been fired because there is practically no damage in it there is no dent in the shell there's the odd scratch mark as you can see there and just various scuffs but other than that there is no damage okay, considering the shell has actually been fired it's really good that there is no damage and it's dated 1895 so it's well over 100 years old and for a hundred year old piece of steel to so have no rust no dents, no damage even the copper drive band is in pretty much mint condition that's pretty rare and obviously the fuse just screws straight into the top really easily without a problem and the fuse is actually undated so it could well match the shell and it's, it's a really nice piece and in the background you can see British 2 inch mortar and a First World War number no. 5 British Mills grenade. And that is pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching.